the guards squawked. Stand back, don't come any closer. The guard was protecting a path down between the rocks. Nothing down there but sadness and turning forlorn. Go see the Forest King. He'll set you straight. The Forest King showed me the way. You'll see there's no need to keep going. He'll make a bird of you. Go get your feathers. The guard joked, another scrawny ember from the forest, and with a bag looking all nicely and shiny, both guards started looking at ember with a deathly stare. The guard leered, the forest king would like you, little scruff. Yes, come a little closer, let us see what's in that bag. We guard the door to the forest king. Oh yes. We decide who gets to see the king. The forest king will want to see you. Yes, yes, come this way. Feeling of foreboding overcame Ember. Ember was terrified but tried not to show it. The giant's bird spoke softly. Another little Ember. Speak, little one. Do not fear. The bird is a friend. Ember wanted to feel safe. Oh, little Ember, birds won't hurt you. Birds will take another under our wing. Stay safe in the nest, you'll never turn forlorn. Ember was still afraid. Is it the night that scares you, little one? Night is gone, day is here, birds will make the world less frightening. It wasn't only the night that frightened Ember. The bird grew frustrated. Do not become like other embers, trying and failing and turning forlorn. Birds will protect you from false hope. The forest king spoke so gently to Ember, perhaps they could rest here for a while. It was hard to know what else to say. Clever little Ember. You will stay, you will not turn forlorn. Search for hope no more. Now take this feather. Feather means Ember is one of us now. Birds keep little ones safe. Birds should never leave the nest. The guards seem pleased. Clever scruff sticking with us. I can hold that bag for you. Leave him alone, they're one of us now. Yeah, one of us. And we all share bags and things. The stranger wanted Ember's attention, being careful not to speak too loudly. You should get away from here while you still can. You can't trust the birds. 
I've heard there's another campfire in the marsh. Well, that's where I'm going if I can find a way down. The guard squawked. Stand back, don't come any closer. Nothing down there but sadness and turning forlorn. Go see the Forest King. He'll set you straight. Got your first feather, I see. Best prove yourself, Scruff. Stand watch here. Promise you won't let anyone pass. Ember didn't like deceiving the birds. But what choice did they have? They couldn't rest in that place forever. They had to keep going. Ember hurried away from the birds. The mist hung close to Ember, hiding them. The forest king seemed frightened, the birds cruel. Ember would rather risk turning forlorn than become like them. Ahead there would be others to help, and maybe a way to move on. Travelers seem distressed. I'm sure it's fine. They'd be okay. But it's been a while since. It's my fault. It looked like a map, but pieces were missing. The piece formed a new route. It was the same place as before, but how? In a haze, they said, you're just like me now, going round and round and round and never escaping. An eerie scene, like a moment frozen in time. Hidden away was a scrap of a journal. There were memories here. Bound in rock, I hear their voices echo in the ancient stone. 
I find footprints by the cinders, a makeshift camp. Gradually more of the map was revealed. A section of bridge had somehow been ripped from its foundations. It was like the map had been broken on purpose. The mist revealed a secret place. Was it hidden on purpose? The stranger spoke. You know, part of me didn't want to be found. I said some things I shouldn't have, and now I'm lost, and it's too late.
skeleton looked peaceful, held tightly in its hand was a red feather. The statue spoke, just as it once moved the heart of the forlorn, the instrument you now hold has the power to move the world around you, another before you, to great effort to hide it deep within this riddle. The lanthorn began to glow. Ember found a scrap of journal. I heard them coming. The snap of a twig, a flutter of birds. A figure dashing through the undergrowth. Another like me? Hidden inside was the wondrous journal. Another face at last. A catcher of fish resting by a pond. We work together, silk and tar and aching fingers. My boat floats once more, though I almost wish to stay. There was one last place to reach on the map. The 
fog was so blinding, Ember was turned around. The fog was so blinding, Ember was turned around. Ember felt a great relief to be out of the mist. The way through was ruined. Muffled by the fog, Ember was sure they heard a rumble. Could that have been a tremendous snore?
Ember didn't mind getting muddy. The slide was such fun. A sleeping pig. Trotters in the air. They looked happy. The plant looked like it could take a hand off, and it was in Ember's way. The fruit was giving off a sickly sweet smell. The plant looked like it could take a hand, and it was in Ember's way. The plant looked, and it was in Ember's way. Sleeping pig, they look happy. Ember chuckled. The dangerous plant was no match for a hungry piggy. A hideous odor filled the air. And suddenly, the reason was obvious. Pig inhaled a giant snort of air. Wait, what's that delicious smell? Ember shuffled nervously. Other embers fed me treats, but then stopped. You feed me now.
Inside was a secret diary entry. Pink, orange, red, brown. Leaves gently dancing to the ground. Crunch, crackle, lovely sound. Fall into a giant mound. was disgusting. Perhaps the pig would like it. Ember came upon another campfire lost in the wilderness. It, the ghost said, speak and I will listen. This is the hollow marsh. Here hope was consumed before it could flourish. You must not lose hope, or you too will turn forlorn. Ember thought of those they loved, those they'd left behind. There are others lost along their journey. Find them and I will guide them. Down steps to your east, travel the path south, watching a pig grow unhappy, a forlorn lost hope.
A lost message was inside. The mist is thick. One way blurs into another. Where do I end? Where does the world begin? I cannot see far enough to tell. Ember found a secret note from the Wanderer. Something beckons. This place is not home. I trace the map in my head, recite the older myths. I have to move on. The stranger had come so very far.
They felt the air beneath them, the distance ever widening. a long way down. A resolve stirred within the stranger. Just a few more steps. It can't be much further. in its belly. Fruity, fresh, but tastes a lot like mud. But what I want is something with more crunch. The pig would eat anything. Ember just needed to find more. And with each thing it ate, the light grew even brighter. Crunchy, embery, not much meat, bit too bony. But what I want is a flavor with more spark. Perhaps if Ember could satisfy the pig, they might be more helpful. This was the last thing Ember could find to offer. Surprising. A little sparky. But kingly in belly. But what I want is... The pig's stomach made an almighty sound. Ember chuckled with relief at the large creature they had been so afraid of. The pig had vanished, but something moved beneath the surface. In a muddy pond, Ember thought the pig looked a lot less imposing. The pig shouted joyously. The water feels so good on the skin. Join me, morsel. The pig seemed happy, but Ember wasn't getting too close. Why do I consume whatever people put in front of me? I need some true nourishment, but there's none left here. But so much cooler in this muddy pond, I can finally think. Thank you, morsel. I'm 
never thought about the pig. Fed to bursting by others but without nourishment. Who had the pig been before? Ember wondered. Cheerily, the stranger said, Don't say much, little friend, do you? Remind me of one of those golem statues. Stood there, mouth open. I like you. stone golem frozen in the lake, a relic from a forgotten time. Ember watched as the helpful piggy cleared the path. Ember found a lost message. The smell of hot broth and hearty stew wafts across the swamp. By the cook's pot I meet another. They are on their own path, but we promise to meet again.
The stranger was afraid. They couldn't see what lay ahead. Ember saw their own fear reflected in the stranger. The darkness hungered for them all. Ember spoke hesitantly. How do you continue, never knowing if we'll reach the end?
The stranger couldn't take on more. The stranger couldn't take on more. to grow had passed. The stranger stretched their limbs. Perhaps it is not too late after all. Inside was a scrap of journal. In the orchard, I meet the stranger from the cook's fire. A stranger no longer. Together we fill their satchel. Food and memories for the road ahead. The Wanderer's Diary. An ancient throne sits empty. No one remains to guide or protect, but we do not mind. My companion shelters with me now. We cannot help those left behind.
Through the mist, Ember could feel they were being watched. The stranger said excitedly, I've not heard a lanthorn play in a long time. Magic or sound a lanthorn makes, your whole body moves. Let me tell you, I play a good lanthorn. The orchard gate was locked and needed a key. Ember found the Wanderer's Diary. We stop by the warmth of another campfire. The Guardian Spirit provokes us, asks what we hope to resolve. I do not understand the question. My companion is silent.
the stranger puzzled over their journey. steps felt effortless. Some steps seemed impossible. And again they return to the past. Twisted by unseen. Gratefully, the stranger said, Friend, thank you. We all help each other along the path.
The stranger knew they had to move on. The path behind was forever closed. They knew they had no choice, and yet they hesitated.
They tried so hard to see it all. To leave now seemed unbearable. The stranger stared past Embo. I'm almost ready. Let me sit a little longer. I will catch up. I promise. The stranger said excitedly, I've not heard a lanthorn play in a long time. Magical sound a lanthorn makes. Your whole body moves. Let me tell you, I plays a good lanthorn.
Hidden away was a scrap of journal. Hands encircled around the evening fire, merry lanthorn tunes, singing out the promises of old. Will home be as we remember? The lands were walls of ghosts and fear. It shapes the world as we wish it. My ears are trying to find you to rest, but still they stare into the fire. The fog was so blinding, then it was turned around. The fog was so blinding, then it was turned around. Said, Speak, and I listen. On the road east, in the The pot had turned cold, the fire had died.
Nothing the cook made felt good enough. Endlessly stirring the same tasteless pot. Couldn't focus, sleepwalking through the days. Aimed inwards was a swirl of thoughts. In the eye of the storm, a fragile flicker. They wanted to serve something perfect. The praise of others was hollow. Cook felt numb and hurt all at once. spoke softly. Oh, hello little one. I didn't see you. I must have lost myself for a moment. It's supposed to be my new soup recipe. But it's not ready. It's not done. A wonderful smell wafted towards Ember. You look starving, poor thing. Have a little taste. But it's not right yet. It was the most beautiful thing Ember had ever tasted. I know. It's got no flavor, nothing special. Ember wished the cook would believe them. Oh, I'd forgotten how good it feels, feeding folk. But it's not ready. There's no need to pretend just to make me feel better. The cook stirred their soup, looking at Ember, looking at the pot, stirring, thinking. Soon, maybe. Oh, I used to love this. Just want to be good at it. But it feels like I'm making the same things over and over. Nothing has flavor. I'm stuck. If you know what you want, I can try. But I really need some better ingredients. Something from the orchard could have worked, if it was still standing. Oh, the cook struggled to hold back their emotions. Pigs have gotten in me orchard, planted every sapling I did. All me hard work ruined. Take the key and have a look yourself. I can't bear to. See if anything is left, but I promise you, there won't be. Hidden inside was the Wanderer's journal. Our feet are weary, the hours long. There will be much to do when we arrive. I tell my companion of those waiting at home. They do not seem to know what to say.
the orchard gate was locked and needed a key. Ember placed the key in the lock and slowly began to turn it. The cook was right. The pigs had destroyed everything. The pig devoured the fruit with careless abandon. Inside was a secret diary entry. The satchel is almost bare, our supplies exhausted. The taste of a good meal is not easily forgotten, but it slipped my mind to thank the cook. Thank you. 
The stranger couldn't face themselves. It just hurts to be outshone. to be outshone.
easier just to turn aside. The stranger searched Ember's face. Is there hope for me, do you think? Will I make it? The frog seemed nervous, but also relieved to see Ember. They told Ember that the birds had let all the pigs into the orchard, and that the pigs had eaten everything, all whilst the birds watched and laughed. Except one precious thing the frog had managed to keep safe, the frog offered the lotus seeds to Ember. They pleaded for Ember to take the lotus seeds to their old friend the cook, as the frog knew how important good ingredients were in hard times. A lost message was inside. Our music crafts our path, bridging over any we pass. My companion's hand clutches mine. We dart like fireflies through the swamp. So soon? I can't believe... Where did you... I've never cooked with lotus seeds before. Ember felt happy seeing the cook suddenly so full of purpose. What a lovely surprise! What a lovely surprise! Please try some. It's not much, but there's plenty to go around. Help yourself. Be well, little one. And do remember me if you are ever hungry.
The pig was joyous. What is this morsel? My insides feel as refreshed as my outsides. I did not dream such food was possible. We will plant a garden of treats. We will grow and eat like piggy kings. Compliments to the chef. The ghost said, speak and I will listen. On the road east, in a forgotten orchard, a forlorn awaits by pooling water. Hello there. It takes a long time to grow a tree, but a pig minutes to destroy it. Some of the leaves are poisonous, so that's something. You ever want to feel good about your cooking, feed a piggy. They always ask for more. Makes you feel lovely. But then later you see them eating small shoes. We call them apples, but I don't think they are apples. They look a bit wrong, but they taste a bit wrong. But if you boil them, then they taste wrong in a different way. Thank you for everything. Take this and be well, little one. The pig was joyous. What is this morsel? My insides feel as refreshed as my out. I did not dream such food was possible. We will plant a garden of tr compliments to the chef. Thank you. 
Hembo was jealous of the pig, snoring contentedly. The frog seemed nervous, but also relieved to see Ember. They told Ember that the bird and that the pigs had eaten everything. All whilst the birds watched and laughed. Except one precious thing, the, fro the frog offered the lotus seeds to Ember. They pleaded for Ember to take them as the frog knew how important good ingredients were in hard times. The stranger closed their eyes and let the fog overwhelm them. Soft, gentle fog, it held them like a vice.
the stranger spoke. The fog didn't choose me, it just was. I hope it never closes on you, friend. Ghost said, You have done all you can, little one. Your journey lies ahead. You have done well to get this far, little one. I will clear the path ahead for you. You have seen another watching over you. They know the secrets of this place. Seek them out. The painting was the same as Ember had seen before. Two embers shone clearly in the daylight now, their journey ahead. The forlorn was cold to the touch, different to the others. The stranger spoke, thank you for coming to help. I can't let another in right now. Ember shared a moment with the forlorn and hoped they would find what they needed. Well now, well now, we've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, fun, fun, over the wall they goes. Hope you have a good excuse for running off, Scab. Ember's heart sank. Ember tried to think of an excuse. Save your made-up stories for the Forest King. Oh yes, yes, tell the lies to the King. Ember felt nervous standing before the king again. Frustrated, the forest king said, Poor tired Ember, where did you go? You must rest now. You give false hope. Try and fail and hurt. This is all there is. Ember could feel the forest king looking right through them. This end, there no more. Why not stop? Let go of this. You must stay. 
No more foolish hope. Last chance. Take key now. Make sure gates are locked. Let no more in. Let no more out. Ember took the key. What choice did they have? Yeah, this really is your last chance. Don't betray the Forest King again. Ember found a secret note from the Wanderer. A memory laps at the edge of my dreams. A time before the water, someone I wish to stay for. We must hurry home. The painting was the same as Ember had two embers shone clearly in the daylight now, their journey ahead. The crossroads gate was locked. Ember placed the key in the lock and slowly began to turn it.
Eagerly, Ember left the birds behind, glad to be free. It was a dock, but the water wasn't high enough to use it. The traveller whispered, Used to be a river all round here. Watched the birds build the dam night and day. Took them forever, they had no clue what they were doing. It was hilarious. Ember was at the entrance to a dark cave. The smell of stale water oozed out like it had once been flooded, but now was bone dry. It was a Gordian knot, impossible to untie. Ember needed something sharp to cut it. 